Oh, hey there. I see you caught me performing my ritual. About to head on the road. See, it's been a couple of years since I left the States. People ask me why I came to Thailand. The girls, the money, the food. No, it's for freedom. Freedom most people don't know that they'll never be able to understand because they don't have what we have. Today I'm leaving Chiang Mai, Thailand. I'm heading to Pai. Three hours of zenful bliss. Can you hear that? That's the sound of freedom. Let's go. Um and I have arrived to the Big Buddha. Well, almost. First we have to make our way up here. Oh my god. I'm so tired. Oh, Ryan, let's go. If you didn't already know, Thailand is a Buddhist country with over 90% of the population practicing the religion. And I'm sure you're familiar, at least with the idea of Buddhism. But to give you a little insight into what the daily practices for people. Normal Buddhist people, meaning like lay people, not monks or anything, are supposed to practice five principles or five rules. One, tell the truth. Two, don't be promiscuous, you know, have one love. Three, don't do drugs or drink, although Thais like to drink a lot. Four, don't steal. And five, don't kill. Real quick, fuck you. Speak. You already reporting? Yes. So as I already told you, it's December 31st, New Year's Eve. And we're in Pi, but we're in the outskirts of Pi. See, there's maybe like 10 kilometers, a 10 kilometer stretch of Pi that is out here in nature before you hit the downtown. Now tonight we're gonna go downtown, so that's where the party and the action is. It's about time to start the festivities for New Year's Eve. It's nighttime now. Mom and I are about to go out. Buddy! This is pork, barbecue pork. Barbecue pork. Barbecue pork. Oh, this is from the stomach. Okay, this is some sort of barbecue pork from the stomach of the pig. And this is some hot sauce called Nam Jim to help it go down. I wouldn't know his stomach. It was pretty good, and this sauce is delicious. Nam Jim. B. My boom boom. Oh no. Koi Bina. No go Bina, that you have. Bina, make you show more. I'm so Now, like, I'm down. <laughs> now, like, I'm get down. We got him being whiskey tie like a three time. <laughs> I tell like, I'm tonight I'm ten body. Okay, okay, because I want the cow down, New Year, like, a down, down. Where are we going? I don't know. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
I am not looking forward to the motorcycle. For my yak, uh, keep motorcycle uh, now. Ryan. Yes. What do you feel now? I feel intimidated because it is cold as heck. I'm a Florida boy who lives in Thailand and it is cold tonight. I'm riding a scooter. This is helping for sure. But it's not doing its job. Neither of these tanks. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> that was a firework if you didn't get to see it. And what I have on is not doing the trick. It is cold. That's what I have to say. <laughs> lady! What? Everybody lady? Yeah. <laughs> lady? Lady? Yeah. Yeah, back now. Yeah, where we are now? We're on walking street. Highest downtown area. Can't fall on the bike. This is one of the three main streets in the town. It's so about 11 p.m. now, and as, as you can see, the streets are basically empty. It feels like a Tuesday night. Why is that? I don't know, maybe people had concerts, but most likely I was wrong thinking this would be a good place, like a good New Year's Eve place. Still having a great time though, but I thought these streets were gonna be packed with people from edge to edge. Ah, I see now, people. <laughs> <laughs> This is the hippie bar. This is the place we party before. Bayan? Bayan? Apple. What's your time video? We have what's called a home fi. A lantern, careful on. Soon enough we'll be lighting it. And you'll see it taking off like one of those. Happy New Year's. It's the morning of January 1st and we're starting our day, Am and I. A nice traditional Thai breakfast. Rice soup. <laughs> By complete coincidence, Am's best friend, Phi, and her boyfriend, Yu, were also in Pai. So as is Thai Buddhist tradition, we are going to go to a temple on New Year's Day for what I assume to be good luck. Now I arrived to Pai Canyon, which we're ascending at the moment. Mm -hmm. Very good. Did you stand right here? Will, come. Let me go. Oh man. Damn. What's in the bag? What's in the bag? This is something related to the GSP method. George Saint Pierre. One of the greatest mixed martial artists of all time, which means of the last like 20 years, because it's a new sport. Anyway, this great man, after suffering a shock defeat as champion, losing his belt, became over, overrun with negative energy, doubts, bad thoughts. So his friend made a symbolic 
statement and said, George, it's like you're carrying a brick around with all your bad thoughts. So what did he do? He physically carried a brick around, symbolizing all the doubts in his head, every bad energy, and he carried it around until one day he thought, I don't need to do it anymore. I've conquered my demons. So in the spirit of the new year and New Year's res resolution, I've been carrying a brick around for almost two weeks now. Now, on New Year's Day, it's time to get rid of this bitch. I feel the same as I did before. <laughs> <laughs> what do you feel? Like I carried around a brick for two weeks. <laughs> Close your eyes, I want to see you tonight in my sweet dream. Okay, let's wrap things up. Pai is a great place. It's full of backpackers, but they're pretty cool and you can meet people from all across the world. <laughs> There's really nice locals, great food, and tons of beautiful, natural activities to do. So, if that's what you're looking for, go ahead and visit Pi.